The Rescue CPR Demo Kit is an important tool for talking about IPR therapy, so it's critical that you're comfortable using it. This is a demonstration of the use of the Rescue CPR Demo Kit and a suggested script talking about CPR physiology and how the rescue pod works. To begin, let's talk about how CPR circulates blood. During CPR, there are two phases, the compression phase and the decompression phase. Each time we compress, we create a positive pressure within the chest. This positive pressure, one, pushes blood out of the heart, called cardiac output, two, forces air out of the lungs, and three, slightly increases intracranial pressure, or ICP. During the decompression, or chest wall recoil phase, we rely on the chest to passively recoil. When it does, a small but important negative pressure is created. This vacuum draws some blood back into the heart, called preload, draws some air back into the lungs, and slightly lowers ICP. The decompression phase of CPR is crucial because when more blood is pulled back into the heart, more blood can then be pushed forward during the next compression. So it's this sequence of alternating negative and positive pressures that fill the heart with blood and then circulate it forward during CPR. However, even with high quality CPR, we circulate about 25 to 40 percent of normal blood flow, as seen here with the rescue man. Notice how the heart doesn't fill completely. One of the main reasons blood flow is limited is because we need to keep the patient's airway open in order to ventilate. The open airway allows air to be drawn in during chest wall recoil, which eliminates the vacuum we're relying upon to fill the heart. Less vacuum means less preload and thus less cardiac output. So how do we correct this issue? This is where the rescue pod provides its benefit. The rescue pod attaches to either a face mask or advanced airway and restricts unnecessary air from entering the chest, but only during chest wall recoil. This significantly enhances the vacuum that we create during chest wall recoil and doubles the amount of blood pulled back to the heart. The rescue pod also lowers ICP. When ICP is reduced, there is less resistance to forward blood flow, so blood flow to the brain improves. Another valuable feature is the timing lights, which can be used to guide ventilation. Simply turn them on when doing continuous chest compressions and ventilate every time the lights blink, which is once every six seconds or 10 times per minute. So in summary, the Rescue Pod is a simple, non-invasive device that increases perfusion. Studies have shown that it doubles blood flow to the heart, increases blood flow to the brain by 50%, and when used with high-quality CPR, can increase survival by 25% or more.